Union Jansakti Minister, Honorable Chairman of this panel, my co-panelists, and all the dignitaries. On the subject of climate resilient water infrastructure, I am uh, in charge of rural development and Panchayat Raj in Karnataka. So we in fact came with two presentations, one from the water resources and another from the department. Since I am focusing more on my own uh, expertise, so uh, on the overall issue, issue of making our water infrastructure climate resilient, the state uh, being, uh, making it climate resilient, a lot of activities towards the ministry, uh, to, in the Department of Water Resources are already being taken up. We uh, showed a film also on that. So, uh, but I thought we will focus a little more on the subject of overall climate change. How do we make the state climate change resilient? Karnataka, as you are aware, has the second largest uh, arid region in the country after Rajasthan. So, uh, what do we do to address this? And then we find that the Mahatma Gandhi uh, Narega is uh, <coughs> of great help and it's a very important tool for us to, to address this. And uh, yesterday, Amit Katari, Joint Secretary, made the presentation. Without repeating that, I'll go a little more specific into what we're doing in our state. So, uh, overall, this is something that we are all aware that these are some of the impacts of uh, climate, uh, climate change and uh, the strategies for mitigation and adaptation are listed there that we need to focus on long-term drought proofing of the states. We need to improve storage by uh, uh, improve the lakes and tank development and particularly watershed treatment of upper reaches so to avoid flooding and water scarcity that we need to store more water uh, above ground and then also we need to recharge. I suppose these are the issues that we are all familiar. So I have a last presentation but I'll quickly run through it. So the various stakeholders who are impacted by climate change are listed here and then the impacts are uh, described. We'll be sharing this presentation and not be reading the whole thing. So I'll just set the context and then we'll move on. So the various Mitigation and adaptation strategies that we are looking at land treatment, we are looking at rainwater harvesting and efficient use of water, suitable crops and varieties, then we are looking at fodders, we are looking at suitable uh, implements and need based nutrient management. So, so, we are looking at actually at the Gram Panchayat level. How do we really look at uh, climate resilience at the Gram Panchayat level? How to make them smart using Atal Bhujal Yojana as well as using our own initiatives? We have we are looking at uh, training the gram panchayats uh, to look at water budgeting. They look at the various activities of natural resource uh, and economic activities, food security, health infrastructure, etc. And how do we make them climate resilient? And for these, uh, we have a lot of activities which can be carried out using Magadhi Narega. So, uh, there is an actionable framework under Narega. Government of India has also uh, identified as one of the uh, key instruments towards handling, tackling climate change. So these are the, the <coughs> things in repetition here. So it just gives a scale of in one state. We are, uh, over the last four or five years, we have spent uh, annually in the range of four to 5,000 crores uh, every year. And we, uh, every year about four to five lakh works are carried out. And how do we really make sure that these works actually address the issue of climate change is something that I am going to talk about. So the various adapt, uh, adaptation and mitigation strategies, I just give a just an overview of what kind of works we have done. For example, 67,000 lakes we have developed over the years and number of chen dams about 40,000. The 3 lakh 33,000 plantation works have been carried out, burns, open wells, so log plantations, afforestation, and plus, uh, one of the important uh, aspects of climate change impact is on the livelihoods and therefore we have to look at diversifying the livelihoods of the farmers and therefore we are uh, using the regard towards to develop a sericulture area, to construct uh, cattle sheds, 2.12 lakh uh, over the last three years only uh, cattle sheds have been constructed. We developed horticulture in 1 lakh 89,000 acres of uh, area we have developed uh, horticulture. We have uh, doing farm ponds and uh, agricultural go downs. So, for natural resource management alone, this is the kind of expenditure we have been doing every year. So, uh, so about four to five thousand crores we are spending on natural resource management. So, how do we really we how do we really make sure? 
that this expenditure is uh, made in a more systematic manner and uh, uh, make it scientific so that we uh, are very consciously addressing the issues of climate change and therefore we will, uh, have come up with a concept called Jal Sanjivini. It's a program uh, uh, that we have designed in Karnataka using uh, Manrega. So it addresses three pillars, the environmental conservation, water conservation and soil conservation. So this is a familiar uh, rich to valley uh, watershed we are using nothing new in it but this is what we are going to do it in a more comprehensive manner. So, <clears throat> we initiated this program last year and September onwards we followed a process, we, we followed a very uh, detailed process of starting, starting with uh, gathering of socio-economic aggregate data and conducting water budgeting at the grassroots levels, use GIS tools for planning and then we conducted partic uh, participatory rural operations and so this whole um, uh, program, uh, a process was done over a period of uh, seven to eight months to prepare the detailed plans, which we'll, we're going to implement in the year, uh, in, in, uh, from the next financial year. So the tools that we have used, we have used one portal and we have, uh, we have our own Karnataka State Remote Sensing Application Center, which has uh, uh, automatic maps, Google Earth Pro we have used, we have used uh, Bhuvan Geo Manrega for uh, looking at all the geotagged assets. And we use Clark mobile app, which is actually very uh, useful for us for ground truthing and actually locating and uh, uh, selecting the right uh, artificial recharge instrument for the right area. And then we have our own Karnataka's mo uh, mobile app called Dishank, which basically gives the entire survey details of the data. So we, like this, we prepare a map matrix, which we give it to our uh, field level functionaries, and then. Uh, which basically what are the type of works that uh, have to be taken and uh, what, are the, what are the features of that, what maps we use. This is just to demonstrate as to uh, what uh, what kind of a detail goes into the planning. I'll just share that you need, need not go through it. But this is the kind of matrix we have prepared. And we have a phase-wise implementation plan uh, like, like this year, next year. And we'll start with upper ridges this year and then go to the middle ridge and the lower ridge and the type of work in each uh, uh, year uh, is listed there. So uh, this is again an example of one panchayat uh, in, in Gadak, so in Muradi <coughs> panchayat in Gadak. This map is actually of one panchayat and in the one panchayat it, it gives you the gradient, it gives uh, the, uh, the drainage map and then based on that we locate structures in detail as to which structure is located where and starting with rubble checks and uh, then go down to water pools and uh, check dams. So this each panchayat will prepare a, prepare a detailed plan like this and then we focus the Narega uh, assets creation according to this plan instead of randomly uh, do, doing it. So <coughs> we are looking at we are preparing a water security plan, preparing a disaster management plan, plan uh, wildlife conservation, livelihoods and grazing land, uh, land development and all this will do using scientific planning. So, we have a model, uh, we call it Gomadas. We have a lot of grazing lands which have been, which are being encroached or being diverted. So uh, we are now preparing a plan to make sure that the grazing lands are revived and restored because one of the key impacts of climate change would be on grazing lands. So that when we have, uh, when we are uh, looking at promoting animal husbandry, uh, grasslands are important. And uh, then we, this is a model uh, disaster management sub plan. Because we find that disaster management is another issue that we, we need to address very actively. This is a map what we have done is we have basically prepared this map by looking at the last 21, 20 years of data of frequency of uh, droughts. And then uh, the, uh, in one of those grey scale we, we find out that we find that out of last 20 years, 30 to 14 years have been drought in uh, 22 Tampas. So we have this map which shows that, uh, uh, which, which helps us locate the frequency of the droughts and this is frequency of flooding and this is frequency of landslides. So based on that actually we each, uh, for each of the disaster management, what are the type of works that need to be taken up and in which area they should be located. This kind of a detailed planning we will do and then we will start implementing them and uh, uh, disaster management sub plans will be prepared at, uh, 
at a lower level. And then we'll use uh, the ground truthing using the CLART map. Uh, CLART, app. CLART app is as developed by Foundation of Ecological Security. It is. It has all the data. In fact, if you take it to a particular location, it will it will give you the data uh, of the substrata, and then it will also. Uh, based on the color coding, it will uh, advise us as to what kind of uh, recharge structure can be taken up instead of very. Right now, what we are doing is we are just finding a valley uh, and we are constructing a check dam. So instead, we are now looking at whether it, if we uh, construct a check dam, whether it will really recharge there or will the water go somewhere else. So we are using CLAR tab for this. And uh, so basically, this is the uh, kind of planning we have done. We have conducted detailed trainings and uh, uh, we are now ready to implement it. So this, uh, I think I'll conclude my presentation, we'll just show some of the works we have done and uh, numbers are also given. We are focusing on creating more and more lakes, store more water above ground in order to save energy and uh, <coughs> also uh, uh, address the issue of water security. Thank you.